In this video, we're going to be looking at how Blender does animation. We're going to be animating this snowball to go and knock off the snowman's head. And to do this, we're going to be using the timeline at the bottom and a concept called keyframing. Keyframing is different from stop motion animation. In stop motion animation, you would tell the snowball where to be for every single frame of the shot. With keyframing, we would say at frame one, it will be here. And then at frame 50, I want the ball to be over here and the computer will work out how to get from frame one to frame 50 and do the animation for us. It's a much easier way of doing animation. So what we're going to do is first of all, make sure that we're looking at render preview so it's nice and pretty. And then we're gonna go on frame one, we want the snowball to be in this location. So to set it to be in that location, I press the I key on my keyboard and I set the location, the rotation and the scale of that snowball. And you can see that I've added this little yellow diamond to tell us that there's a keyframe there. Now we want the snowball to go and hit the snowman about two seconds later. So I move the timeline to about 48. Um, now 48 frames is actually two seconds. So Blender's default is 24 frames a second, 24 times two equals 48 frames. 48 frames later, I want to move the snowball to hit the snowman in the face. And again, to add a keyframe, I press I, location, rotation, scale. And now, if we move the, the keyframe, so the, the frame marker at the bottom, we can see that it does the calculation for us. It says at frame one will be there, at frame 48 will be there, and it does all the calculations in between and it animates it for us. So far, so good. But it's not actually knocking the snowman's head off yet. So what we're going to do is we're going to select the snowman's head and I can zoom in by clicking on the, the zoom button and moving my mouse, rotating. I want to get the snow, snowman's head to fall off, but not just the snowman's head, I want the snowman's head and the hat and the nose to fall off at the same time. And to do this, I can select the hat in a couple of ways. So I can select the hat by just left clicking or um, I can select the hat by pressing B and draw a box around the things that I want to select. Or I can select things and hold down shift on the keyboard and then select the other elements that I want to animate. Let's just make sure I've got the nose in the right location. And you can tell they're selected by the orange detail around them. Now, when do I want it to move? I only want it to start moving when we get to frame, f when, well, when the snowball hits the face, which is about there. That's when I want to start moving the snowman's head to make it fall off. Uh, and what you need to do there is actually set the snowman's head to be in that location before it falls off. So we're going to press I on our keyboard. We're going to go to location, rotation, scale, and that puts a keyframe there. Now notice nothing's happened because I've only told the snowman's head to be in that location and that's all. But what I want to happen is I want the snowman's head about half a second later, which is about there, to be flying off in different directions. Let's rotate around a little bit and zoom out again. So I'm gonna move the snowman's head over here. I'm going to rotate it very slightly and I'm going to put it up there. So about half a second after the snowball hits it in the face, what we're going to do is we're going to move the head to fly off a little bit. So again, to add a keyframe, I press I, location, rotation, scale, and it should have set it. So let's play the whole thing back again. If I move this cursor along, the snowball comes in, hits the face, and the head falls off. That's pretty good. Let's go press play again. There we go. So that's some very, very basic animations. Now, let's imagine that you think the head's moving a little bit too slowly. So we want to speed this up a little bit. What we can do is we can select the second of the keyframes and we can press G or grab, another way of saying move, and we can actually move this further away to slow it down, which is really slow. Or if we press G, we can move it much, much closer to make it super fast. Okay, probably a little bit too fast. Let's move it just there. And you can also do other things that you've met already, such as deleting the keyframes. So if I press the keyframe, if I want to get rid of the second keyframe, I don't like the animation anymore. I can select it, I can press X on my keyboard, and I can delete that keyframe if I want to as well. 